Welcome to another round of Design Sprint Shorts. I'm your host, C. Todd Lombardo, and today we're going to talk about personas. Personas are a great tool to use internally when you're trying to understand who your target audience is or who your target user is. Personas are rarely done with an empathy map in the same design sprint. Usually you do one or the other. So how do you do it? Well, take a large page and then write write down who this person is. Oftentimes, people consider them roles, like it's the product manager, it's the CEO, it's the CTO. Role-based personas are just fine, at least to start with. And then what you do is you look and see what, try to can you write a story about what their background is? What are they typically frustrated with? What questions do they have in their mind? And maybe based on that information, could you actually codify and bullet point a handful of needs that this particular person has? Personas are made up, but they're not fiction, meaning they're usually based on some kind of data and evidence that you've got from interviewing a lot of people. And those are usually one-on-one qualitative type of interviews. So how do you do it? Well, on a page, you've got their name, you write their background, frustrations, questions and needs, and then you have this area called the slider area. The slider area could be these quantitative, quasi-quantitative areas where you might have something like how technical they are, what's their level of domain expertise, uh, how frequently do they log into your product. Once you have a bunch of these, these descriptors and these sliders, what you might want to do is list out all the descriptors and plot where Persona 1, Persona 2, and Persona 3 lie on those different descriptors. This can give you insight onto how those initial role-based personas actually behave and if the behaviors may actually warrant them being the same persona. This is another Design Sprint Short. I'm C. Todd Lombardo, and we'll see you next time.